You're watching News Made Easy. I'm Anandya Chakravarti. Every single day, 811 million people in the world go to bed on an empty stomach. That's more than 10% of the world's population. Uh, do they really need to go hungry? Is it inevitable? And the reason why many amongst us believe that there's no way out of it is because we are driven by two big myths. Myth number one is that the world's population is huge. It's about 7.9 billion people. It's so big that it's not possible to feed so many people. And on top of that, we don't produce enough. We don't have enough agricultural production, enough food production in the world to feed such a big population. And even if um, you know we want to feed them, we'll need to bring about massive reforms in the agricultural space. You hear that being said all the time by people who want to push uh, GM foods and also people who want to push agricultural reforms like we heard in uh, India recently. But these both of these are actually myths and the reality is that there are enough resources in this world for the entire world's population. Everyone. There are enough resources. And I'm going to start with uh, one particular myth. There is a myth that the world is uh, too small to sustain so many people. There's not even enough living space. Let's take the idea of living space. Actually, there's a lot in this pla on this planet for everyone to have a comfortable home. But let me just take uh, Delhi. Delhi's population density is approximately about 12,600 people per square kilometer. Of course, that's a very high density of population. And I'm, let's assume that uh, a decent city population would be about 5,000 uh, people per square kilometer. If that were the average in the world, the entire world's population would fit into half of India. Half of India's area could accommodate the entire world's population if it only consisted of cities with about 5,000 square people per square kilometer. Remember that I'm talking about half of India. So think of the entire world. There, there, are, there is enough place for the world, our planet to sustain a large number of people, much larger than what we have right now. Okay, that's um, about space on the world. But is there, ultimately I'm talking about hunger, is there enough uh, food on this planet to feed people? Is there, uh, are we producing enough? I'm not even talking about potential. Are we producing enough right now? And the average person thinks, no, we aren't, right? They're, that is why people go hungry because there's scarcity of food. Well, let's just look at how much human beings actually need per day. And the average is about 2250 calories, 2000 for women and about 2500 for men. They, these vary from culture to culture, place to place. I'm just talking about a global average, which most people agree on. And for a balanced diet, what is required? You need uh, carbohydrates, which I'm representing with some slices of bread here. It can be anything. It can be rice, roti, bajra, roti, anything, noodles. You need carbohydrates. You need uh, proteins. It could be animal protein, including eggs, um, uh, legumes, milk, right? So you need proteins, significant amount, and you need fats. Your body requires fats. And, you know, fat people, rich people say cut fat out of your diet, but poor people who don't have enough require it as a, cal a calorific intake. And then you need fruits and vegetables for various other things, vitamins, uh, roughage, and uh, various nutrients which are absent in other things. Fruits and vegetables provide us with them. Now let's look at... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the total global production of these items. I'm going to average them out and I'm going to divide it by the world's population to see that per person, what is the daily availability of these things. So let's start with cereals. If we take uh, the cereals that are tracked by the uh, uh, FAO, right? And you'll find that on an average per person, there is about 600 grams of dry cereal available in this world per person. And I'm talking about 600 grams. The actual availability is close to one kilo. I'm removing a certain amount, about 40% or more. I'm 40 odd percent I'm removing from it, saying that this is used for other purposes. For instance, for livestock, right? And various other things. So just cereal production, grain production, after taking out other uses, about 600 grams per day is available per person. Milk. On an average, 320 milliliters of milk is available per person. That is close to two small glasses of milk per day. 
meat about 120 grams uh, uh, if uh, if you have uh, uh, are calling guests over for dinner then on an average recipes tell you to make 125 grams per person so it's very close to what you would give to people as guests when you're calling them for dinner so that's the availability of meat vegetables approximately and this ranges from various things the biggest production is of tomatoes then there are onions then there are uh, potatoes these are big uh, vegetable uh, element, things that are produced across the world on an average availability is about 700 grams per person in this world fruits about 300 grams per person most affluent people in india don't eat that much right uh, oils and fats about 30 to 35 grams of oils and fats i'm taking the lower number is available i've just taken edible oils plus butter there are various other kinds of fats which are used for cooking 30 grams per person on an average is available what does that translate into when we convert them and into energy or calories which is required to uh, stop malnutrition and hunger well from cereals alone because this is dry cereal when you cook it it becomes trip three times the amount uh, cereals alone the calories required is between 2000 that you can get is between 2000 to 2400 calories that is almost the total amount more than the total amount that is required for any person so just cereals alone can do that other than that milk provides about 170 meat can provide about 350 vegetables 450 fruits 150 oils and fats about 200 215 uh, calories total it's between 3300 to about 3735 odd calories can be provided to each person in the on this uh, earth right now given the level of production that we have the reason we don't have that is because there is huge food wastage especially in the developed world the people eat much much more than they require to whereas in the poor countries people don't get to eat whatever we produce as of now forget about any reform any technological advancement is enough to feed 1.5 times the world's population today right so that tells you that it is inequality which keeps people hungry not high population not low production it is inequality which sends one in ten person to bed every day on an empty stomach that's the show today keep watching news click like us subscribe uh, to our channel and do share this video.